Hi, my name is Daniel and welcome back to the journey of an artist. Just a quick heads up, if you haven't seen the last video you kinda should because I'm gonna be continuing the character that I started there, you can find the link in the description below or in the corner of the video or you can just continue watching this one, I mean I can't force you to do anything. You, you can do whatever you want. The second thing I want to add is that this video is indeed longer than the last one, it's 20 minutes but it's gonna go way faster. The last one was 3 hours condensed into 7 minutes, this one is gonna be 9 hours condensed into 20 minutes. With that being said, let's start doing stuff. So besides resizing the portrait, we are starting the same way as last time with an outline and just like last time, it's gonna be a bit ugly but it's gonna do the job. Because this is how I like to start my work, other people may prefer to just start painting and if you are one of them, that's fine and if you actually can achieve something by doing this, then congratulations, you are a god amongst men, send me tutorials. Although I start the same, what is gonna differ this time is the fact that I don't have any reference image, so there's gonna be a lot of trial and error and a lot of redrawing things. Which means I have no idea how the final image is gonna turn out. What I do know however is that I want my character to have a street kid aesthetic, so there's gonna be a lot of experimentation to achieve that. And experimentation is the key word for this video. You're gonna see me try a lot of poses for the character, a lot of weapons, a lot of designs of weapons, and a lot of clothes and a lot of colors of clothes. It's just gonna be a constant search to find what looks good. Because in all honesty, this is what concept art is about. Trying to see what works and what doesn't, and eventually getting something good enough that can actually be used for something. And this is why this video is gonna be so long, I didn't want to cut out any of the attempts or the experimentation that I did until I settled on something. But enough talking about general stuff, let's actually talk about this drawing. You already saw me trying out a lot of different poses, the main idea was for the character to hold the weapon in the right hand and have the left hand on the hip. But that is a pose that I have done with a lot of my characters, so I tried doing something different with this one. So I removed the hand on the hip and made it hold another weapon in the left hand. I know that this is still a generic pose, but it's something new for me, I haven't done this before. And once I was happy with this pose, I started outlining the clothes, so I can have a general gist of what my character is gonna wear. And after that is done, it's time to add the color. Let the ugly phase of the painting begin. And if you don't know why I said that, again, go watch the first video. When I said I wasn't good at choosing the initial colors, I didn't lie, so don't get attached to this color scheme, color palette, because after I'm done with it, I am gonna delete it and start all over again, so I'm just gonna let the video play out until that moment. Okay, at some point I just looked at this and said this doesn't look good and I tried adding some details, some patterns on the shirt, but it wasn't working so I said you know what, just change everything. And so I decided that the design is not the problem but the colors are, so I changed most of the colors. And this is a piece of advice that I can give to any artist, don't get too attached to what you already did, instead try to see what works and what doesn't work and just change what doesn't work, you don't need to keep it the way it is, you can always start over. And now that I have a design that, well, I'm not in love with it but I do like it, it's time to start working on it. And it's the same story as before, just put on shades of color that define where the light is coming from and define where the shadows are and just start blending them together.
One thing that I haven't used in the last video but I'm gonna use here is a technique called photo bashing. It implies taking a photo and manipulating it in such a way that it will help your painting process. You can use it as a guide, as a reference, as a texture, it's just something that's there so you don't have to paint everything from zero. Some people consider this cheating but it's really not, it's just a way to save up a lot of time and it's used by a lot of professionals in the industry. If you're working with tight deadlines you can't afford to spend time painting everything and you just want something that's already done that will help you. And you'll notice that what I'm doing with the photos is not perfect and it really doesn't need to be. It just needs to look good from the distance that this character will be viewed from. If you zoom in you will see a lot of defects and a lot of imperfections but normally you won't zoom in on the character. You would just look at the full image. The rest is just more of the same. Defining stuff, blending stuff, so I'm just gonna let the video play out a bit. If I don't have a reference for my character that doesn't mean I'm not using references. For example, I didn't know how to do the folds on my t-shirt. And although I don't show it in the video, I did search for a lot of reference images of t-shirts and imitated the folds of the one that I like and even copied one of the sleeves so I can paint over it. And at this point I realized once again, wait a minute, this is not gonna look good. The character holding in his right hand a firearm, especially a futuristic firearm, wouldn't look that good with the aesthetic that I have chosen for it. And I thought, what would actually go good with the aesthetic? And I went with a very obvious choice, a skateboard. However, I did decide to keep the katana in the left hand.
And now marking the halfway point of the video, as I start working on the bottom half of the character, it's the beginning of the pretty phase of the painting, finally. This is the moment where I know that everything is kind of set and I don't really need to change a lot of things from now on. I might do a change here and there, but this is gonna be mostly the final design and I'm pretty happy with it. And with yet another abrupt change in songs, you may be wondering how much more is to this video. And the answer is quite a lot. I know that some of you might be getting bored, but this is the process. When you are doing something, especially when you don't have a lot of experience like me, you gotta take your time and ensure that everything is good. On the other hand, some of you who are watching this might get inspired and wanna draw yourselves. And I need to remind you as well. This character took 9 hours to complete, you might be faster, you might be slower, but like everything in life that is good, it takes a lot of time to do.
Okay, I wanna add that here I did something that you really shouldn't do. It's okay to copy something from one place and put it in another, like I did with the eyes or in this particular painting with the sleeves. But if those things don't quite match in terms of perspective or positioning, it's gonna be really really hard to make the copy look like it's supposed to look. In this case, I just should have painted another shoe, but the model was so complicated that I got lazy and I really shouldn't have. In the end, it did turn out okay, but it significantly changed the position of the foot. Okay people, just a bit more patience because we're almost done. All I need to do is add a few accessories, a few details here and there, add a shadow, final background, sign my name and we're finished. I must admit that the mask and the patches on the pants were not part of my original idea. While I was painting, my girlfriend came by and saw the character and suggested that it needed more detail. I came up with the idea for the mask and she came up with the idea for the patches. And after I did both, I liked them so much that I just kept them in. And after two attempts at making the shadow, the painting is finally over and it's time for the final reveal. And this is my character, it has no name because honestly I have no idea what it is, a boy or a girl and I'm not gonna decide what it is, it can be whatever you want it to be. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, well, you already know what to do. If you like my art and wanna see more, you can follow me on Instagram, link in the description along with the links for the music that I've used in this video. And that's about it. Have a nice day, goodbye!